You've heard of the NBN Broadband Access Network, right? And you've heard you're getting an FTTN connection, but you're probably wondering what that is. So let's take a look then. FTTN is short for fibre to the node. FTTN connections are used when copper cabling connects a home to the NBN access network. Fibre optic cables connect to a street cabinet called the node near a home. The copper network is then used to connect the NBN access network from the node to your home. NBN uses VDSL2 technology over the copper network together with the NBN fibre network to provide you with access to fast broadband. To connect your phone and internet service via an FTTN connection, you'll need a VDSL2 modem compatible with the NBN access network. Your phone and internet provider will supply or recommend a compatible one, as it's unlikely your current modem will work with the NBN access network. While NBN doesn't currently charge you for a standard installation, you should check with your provider whether there are any additional fees. To switch to a new plan, first check your address online to see if you're ready. Remember, NBN is a wholesaler. It builds and maintains the NBN access network, but doesn't sell phone and internet services direct to the public. So you will need to order your new NBN powered plan from a phone and internet provider. They'll give you a connection date and let you know if you'll need to be home on this date. In most cases, you won't. Once it is active, you can connect your devices to your modem using the new Wi-Fi password given to you by your provider. Or connect directly using an Ethernet cable. If you ordered a home phone service, you'll now need to connect your phone directly into your modem. If you have any problems with your connection, speak to your phone and internet provider. They'll be able to help. It's also important to note that devices connected to your new phone and internet service will not work during a power blackout. So consider having an alternative form of communication handy, like a charged mobile phone. And if you have safety critical devices, such as a medical alarm, monitored fire alarm or lift emergency phone, contact your device provider to check whether these will work before switching. It's also important to register these devices online at nbn.com.au slash compatibility. To learn more, visit nbn.com.au.